Hello gamers! Welcome back to the channel for another leak discussion video with Portal Fire. In today's video we're going to be discussing about the new Quacks leak and going over some where Coco information about the previous leak. Quacks Evolutions got leaked, we're going to discuss that later in the video. But as always, hit the like button, subscribe button, we're trying to get to 20k subscribers. And before we get into that, of course, of course, of course, remember, not everything you read on the internet is true. Most of the stuff on this information, information on this video is probably false. That's a, probably a given. Don't believe it. Don't get upset at me. Just take it with a grain of salt. I'm just here to discuss it because I like discussing leaks. But with that being out of the way, let's get right into the video for you guys. So on screen right here, it says uh, a post posted on our Poke Leaks. It says, I'm 90% sure the Fork of Evolution is genuine. I hope not because I hate what it looks like. But we're going to go through it and then we'll discuss the Quacks Leak right after. So yeah, hit the like button. So right here it says, uh, Full disclosure, I left this post as a very, very long comment on another topic here. I've been all up now across the referencing pictures, so I can't throw it away. Don't worry, I threw some new info too, because for some reason, I can't stop. I love the way the dude looks. I need him to be real. This is a false statement right here. I do not agree with this. This is horrendous what he just said. You are wrong. You are wrong. Can I downvote? I'm going to I'll downvote later. Anyways, here we go. The line art in these sketches are ma matches up pretty much one to one with almost every other piece of concept art you can find online. Most fake mods masquerading as real have very clean line art, which is a dead giveaway. This has solid, thick, somewhat rough line art. On top of this line, coloring and shading is pretty point with little emphasis on highlights. For a light along solid, vibrant colors and muted shadows, it all looks professional. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, okay. And you almost never see that in leaks. It's possible, but very uncommon. Though there are some discrepancies between art you can find online and numbers stamped across the pages match up with art you can find out when looking up concepts like Fred from Let's Go or Pokemon like Rowler and Mimikyu. There are many more but I don't want to bloat this post anymore but if you're curious, if you're curious go search your Google for it. So he left some links here. I'll put them on the screen for you guys. So you can see a Rowlet here. Sketch out for Rowlet. It looks really clean. It looks really cool. If I probably I probably never seen this. If I probably saw this, I'll probably be like, honestly, it looks really clean. It looks really clean. So I'll be like, it looks real. It looks like a real Pokemon. But maybe maybe because I'm biased because I've already seen it. And then here's red one. Honestly, when I saw a red one, it's probably obvious because I've known red. We know red. We have seen red. We have been done red. So it's like a confirmed thing. If this was like shown, I'll be like, yeah, this is probably obvious that it's red. And the Fuego Pokemon we saw last video, we're not gonna go over that because I hate looking at that stupid mod. Anyways, he said, now, mind you, these are the discrepancies between some art and others that are official work. The Gen 7 Final Revolution don't have the numbers on their sheet, and some art actually has reference material for colors on it. So, on screen, I know you probably see it in Synodron. And honestly, this one looks really... I'm pretty sure this is the one I saw. I remember seeing people talk about it, and people said this one's fake. It looked really fake about the Mon drawing. Honestly, if I saw, like, this Pokemon come out, I probably would say it's fake if I did see it at first. So, Fuego Pokemon could be real, but I hope not. But, yeah, a lot of this information like stuff on the screen looks like it's really good and drawn but everything looks really fake about it but it turned out to be real so which is scary it's just scary it's scary and we also have vicar votes one here vicar votes one is also really cool really like it and it looks like a mon that is not really a pokemon it looks like some like i said it looks like a pokemon from like if you ever saw like the sword and shield league there was this mon that was just floating around in the game it looks like that mon so if i saw this being drawn up be like hmm, hmm this looks really weird but it also has another mon like below in the bottom left charger bug right there it's kind of because cool. it included two mods in one picture, which is another weird thing to do. But I'm not really sure. But like I said, if I if I don't, I can't. I already know it's real, so I have to always believe it's real. But if I had to see this, I probably would say it's real if I saw it. Compared to the Incineroar, this one looks more realistic than the Incineroar. Let me know your thoughts down below, of course. From what I understand, uh, the folktale from Spanish detailed mythology about the fairy crocodile, and now said I guess this one I know very little about. Thus, cannot comment any further. But I stumbled across it while researching and figured it seemed pertinent. Word, the topic <laughs> now this is one less valid point i put it all here the same when cross-referencing this with my friend who's fluent in some japanese we compared the phrasing from description of where coco's evolution with console art from a few other past games and the language used in description on where coco's page seems to catch up minimal and to the point there aren't any dead giveaways in the writing and phrasing used. The panel on the right hand side of him breathing fires reads something the extent of the color of his fire is scarlet Citation is needed. Oh, on top of the handwriting, between this and the past work also seems like they might catch up, might match up pretty closely. See both Ren and Rowlet above. Okay. Okay, so edit to this post. 
I am not Japanese and similarly cannot read kanji myself, though I thought so I saw some similarities in some handwriting. There is little very reason on my part to suspect the handwriting, let alone the eyes, are necessarily the same. Please take this point with a thousand grain of salt. <laughs> with a thousand grains if salt. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, another edit to this post. Okay, okay. <sighs> There's a lot of talking. If this is real, this is hands into my personal favorite final evolution for a start. Well, first of all, you are wrong here. He is incorrect. This is horrendous, man. Horrendous. That I've seen since generation two. I mean, genuinely, you are still wrong. You are not. Ge you are genuinely incorrect. This guy is fantastic in every way aside maybe his hair. He reminds me of some sort of dragon tails, but in a good round dopey way. That could totally be wrong as saying all this. I've seen my share of fake Pokemon comes to my mind. No, actually, there's a sufficient chance I'm wrong. But if I'm then dang, this is a good fake. But all this, I hope it's fake. Please tell me it's fake. Please tell me it's fake. But all the same, I see a lot of people here instantly ready to deny the leak is real, ready to point their fingers at the wrong thing when they say the cutie in the pick is fake. The only thing that here gives me a real pause is the drink resting on the left corner of the paper. I'm going to presume that the drawing is done digitally, but off chance it was done by hand, then resting your piss color drink on the paper would be serious party foul. If the drawing was going to be scanned and used reference sheet, you would not want to a moisture ring around the corner of the paper that would be serious unprofessional and in a company like pokemon I don't see mishaps like that happening however that point can be easily written off is, is if this is a print off off for the working art card anime toys etc okay let's keep going i'm gonna keep going through this and then i'll come back to it it says <coughs> it says here anyway it's now 7 a.m i spent so much time looking at the dudes art cross-referencing the drawing with past concept trying to get my hopes up because I really want this dude to be real. If he's not, I'm going to be really, really sad about it. You're the only one that's going to be sad about it. You are going to be the only person on this planet that's going to be sad about that being fake. If anyone can give me a confirm this is fake, please find it. If this is fake, I want to know now so I can be saved from disappointment. Shut up. The user you already pointed out in the comment below that the numbers of the sheets down are shown certain. The publication in print media for translation purposes and not the concept of work itself. Okay. In regards to the comments, from the user crispy boys above the sheets lacking proper remunerations. I did find these images that I will link below. However, the Pokemon in these are generally poor examples. Virtually every piece of concept art I found features a rear view image of the Pokemon or character. So this is a bit of a red flag and something I'm surprised that I didn't consider before it was possible with one of the mo multiple concept sheets or that they were based on covered with the overhead view and flying sketch of this Evo. But all the same, this adds credence. Through the potential of being fake. Please be fake. I want you to be fake. Keep it be fake. Let me fake. I have some images here. I'll put some more images on screen for you guys. We have um uh, not marine. It's Toxapex. It's Toxapex here and showing some artwork for Toxapex. It looks really cool and it looks really odd. But I don't know. If I saw this, maybe if I saw, oh, I'm not really sure. See, I can't. I can't. I can't. I'll show both of them. And here's Marine's one. I don't really know what I think about them. I can't say that they're fake because i know that they're real but if i saw i don't but i can't really think about how i saw them let me know what you guys think if you firstly saw these ones do you think they were real or fake but that's the thing is you already seen them so you know they're real but then it's so hard to it's so difficult it's always cool but yeah and finally he says lastly he says thank you all largely for this positive reception to this post at the end of the day there's no genuine league like is real while i want to believe in my heart is hard that is the only human and just successful to falsehood as anyone else i put a lot of time trying to discern myself and now you as well whenever this leak is indeed genuine or not as of right nothing is concrete and has swayed the conclusion one way or another but it's been lovely seeing the excitement the leak brought many of us i'm more excited for these games than ever before i haven't purchased a pokemon game since platinum and i think it's the first game because i'm much what the what you're not a pokemon player anyways <clears throat> let's go back through this okay okay okay, okay. so in terms of the line art is very like not perfect so not be not being perfect means it's the chance of being real and then it's similar towards the other mods that are weren't put the other images that weren't put you go back to the video to find out yourselves um uh, cross-referencing with my uh he's been cross-referencing like all the japanese law about him being a fairy crocodile the spanish law with a japanese friend you know in kanji so it's familiar in the handwriting so he's trying to reference the handwriting that they use in the image and if it matches with like the other ones from the other images the so kanji is the writing they're talking about the two matches and i think um uh, uh yeah similarities here um and this is him how we talking about how this um how it's like being like seen unprofessional about how if there's like stuff that like rings around the paper on the fuego because like a drink bottle showing if this is meant to be like to be used in like actual printing it wouldn't be professional but if it's a printout work already it's fine it's whatever and then he just don't care about um etc about him being upset here pretty much really yeah um 
Um, she's lacking proper evolution even of these uh, general examples. Oh yeah, he's not really showing like a good clear example of like the images either. So I don't know. Take it with a grain of salt, guys. I think it's fake, and I hope it's fake. If it's real, I'm gonna be upset. If it's real, I'm gonna be upset. I'm keeping my Puerto Coco as a child. But but now let's go back. Let's head over to the Quaxley stuff. Yeah, yeah, the Quaxley stuff. Yeah, 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 Quaxley. So so so. <clears throat> a tweet from Soul Silver Art says, Now comes to see them ever making these confidential star concept art leaks. This one is totally fake. The quality is just in there. That wing sword is not kind of right. Also, it's like a replica many fans made. Still, credit the artist is pretty good. And here we have um, the image of it, of course, right here for you guys. Uh, it's the. It looks very. The It's so blurry. The images look so blurry. It's like another sort of like. It's like a pirate duck with a sword coming out of this thing. It looks. Honest to God, I want my honest opinion about this. This looks more real than the Fue Coco one. This looks so much more real than the Fue Coco one. Like, it looks it looks more genuine. In my opinion, I think this looks real. I think this one might be genuine <laughs> over the Fue Coco one. But I probably, I, it's just probably is fake as always, you know. They're all just fake. But it does look really cool. I do like the way that it just uh, poses as a final form. It looks like a final form star Pokemon. I love how he has an aggressive and upset look. It reminds me of a bit like, um... Uh, Urshfu, it reminds me of Urshfu, like the whole like top left, the faces part of it, Urshfu, and it looks like stabbing everyone, like, and the way it rests, like, it actually, it actually can become like an actual duck in the bottom right, if you can see it clearly, it's actually really cool. A tweet here from Pokemon Sutami says, new rumor translation, the read the, read the thread for notes and opinions, if this is your work, please let me know, if you want to know, of course, I'll credit, Japanese is a bit strange, so here's the Japanese translation for it, right here for you guys, uh, Katana shoots out, like, Katana shoots out from his wings, the side view of it, Quack quack means he's like acting like a duck. Grin and angry says so a grin face, and he has an angry face, which I like. I like that a lot. But he's trying to say the Japanese weird translation is weird, but but you know what? It looks more realistic than Fue Coco. I really do like this way more than Fue Coco. It looks so much cooler than he does, and it actually looks like a mod that Quack Quack could evolve into. Actually, and him having a grin and angry give me some like so like deja vu vibes to it i'm not really sure let me know your thoughts down below because i think it's really cool i think it's pretty 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 sick to see this one being like this but yeah let me know your thoughts down below of course because i do i honestly god honestly god i think this would be a genuine design i don't know if this is real but the design concept of this i think it might be real i think it might be real for sure but yeah let me know your thoughts down below leave a like down below subscribe down below as always guys thanks so much for watching today's video follow my tiktok we're almost to 100 followers and subscribe to the channel because we're almost to 20k subscribers with that all being said leave a like subscribe comment about everything in this video love you guys have an amazing one for the rest of your night peace